Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This video is just a discussion about mid-range versus um, high-end. So I was reading through the comments and I frequently, I, I do this because, um, yeah, I just want to keep up with what's current. I want to see what people are saying. So this video is just a discussion video. There's no comparisons or battles or anything like that. This is solely discussion. So I got to get you guys' thoughts and opinions on a topic. Now, the topic at hand is, I guess, flagship and mid-range. Now, I have some phones obviously sitting here. And I, I think it's kind of crazy, some of the comments I've read. No disrespect to those people, if that's how you feel. But I think there's a, a misunderstanding here. I think there's a misunderstanding on what a flagship is and a mid-range device is. So if you're just looking at specs, um, let's get to the comment. And I'm glad this person commented. I, I don't know your name. Actually, you know what? Let me find your name and I'll, I'll give you a shout out here because you inspired this video. So let me find your name. Um, Deep Six Swag. Shout out to Deep Six Swag. Uh, their comment was, you inspired this video, seriously. The comment says, and this is on a video that I did on the why you should get the ZT Axon 7 over the Note 7. Here's that person's comment. Now, again, I'm not trying to put you on blast. You inspired this video. I appreciate it. I love doing discussions. I took debate in college. It's, I love it. So, the problem is we're over the internet and we're in comments and videos, so it's kind of difficult. It's not the same. But, let's read his comment. Deep Six Swag says... This comes down to ducats. That's street slang for, like, money. Uh, <laughs> you have to spend, is what he says. Both phones are the best of their respective classes. But here, here's what I disagree with. Top-end line premium smartphone in the Note 7 and mid-range flagship killer budget smartphone in the Axon 7. That is totally, I totally disagree. And I've commented on the video. I don't know if he's responded yet. I'll see. But I love discussions like this. So basically what you're saying is, and, you know, forget about all this water resistant and all that stuff. Those are just things that are add-ons. When you look at raw performance in the phone, I've said it before and I'll say it again in this video. The Note 7 does not perform better than the OnePlus 3, nor does it perform better than the Axon 7. You can watch all the videos you want. The Note 7, a lot of people are coming forward saying, you know what, this phone, you know, it's a great phone, but it's just not worth it for, for what it gives me. And that's what it is. Some people are still in love with it. Um, I, I like the Note 7. My full review is coming. Um, I use the black, I use my black Note 7 for the full review. It's coming. I'm working on it. You'll see it soon. But let's tackle this real quick. So um, this, and not just, again, Deep Six Swag, this is not to take any shot. You just brought up a great point. And I want to discuss it. So let's read the specs for both of these devices. And I'm just, I just got my OnePlus 3 here. I'm looking at the specs on the Axon 7 and the Note 7. So here we go. 5.7 inch display on the Note 7, 5.5 inch display on the Axon 7. You could even throw the OnePlus 3 in here if you wanted to, but this, this is just on that video. So Super AMOLED display on the Note 7, AMOLED display on the Axon 7. 5.5 inch quad HD display on the Axon 7, 538 pixels per inch. 5.7 inch quad HD display on the, on the Note 7, 515 pixels per inch. Gorilla Glass 5 on the Note 7, which we already have seen, shout out to Jerry Riggs. He's already proven that the Note 7 scratches up really fast. Gorilla Glass 4 on the Axon 7. They both have a skin overlay. They both have an overlay. They're both running the latest Android. They both have a Snapdragon 820. They both have an Adreno 530. They both have 64 gigs built in. They both have 4 gigs of DDR4 RAM. They both have an SD card slot. This one has a 20 megapixel camera, I'll admit. Um, it appears that it's not as good as the Samsung Galaxy Note 7's camera, but I'll actually do a battle video on it. You guys hold me to that. I'll do a battle video. Um, and this, uh, the 12 megapixel on the Note 7. 
They both shoot in 4K. They both shoot in 60 frames per second. They both shoot in 240 frames per second slow motion 720. The front camera on the Axon 7 is an 8 megapixel, and the front camera is a 5 megapixel on the, on the Note 7. Um, the Axon 7 has a 32-bit DAC. The Note 7 only has a 24-bit DAC. This is when you plug in. The Axon 7 has Dolby sound, Dolby Atmos sound, okay? So you've got better audio in and on the outside of the Axon 7. They both have Wi-Fi BGN. They are, they have all, they're pretty much the same. They both have Type-C. The Axon 7 has 3.0, and the Note 7 has 3.1. They both USB Type-C. Um, they both have a fingerprint reader. The fingerprint reader is faster on the Axon 7. Um, and the Note 7 has an iris scanner, HTML5 for both. They both have fast charging, except for the Axon 7 can charge 83% in 30 minutes. This is true. A non-removable 3,500 milliamp hour battery on the Note 7, which is not superior to the 3,250 milliamp hour battery on the Axon 7. So I ask you this. I wanted to read all of those specs because I want to know how are you guys ranking phones for mid-range and high-end? Is this not a flagship because it costs $399? That doesn't make any sense. Please clarify in the comments. A, 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 sh a special shout out to D6 Swag for even giving me the idea for this video. How is it you can say this, not, not you D6 Swag, but how is it anybody could say that this is not a flagship and this is if they pretty much have the same thing and this one runs better. This is a short video. No 30 minutes because discussion on this one. I want to know what you guys think. How is it a person can say that this is not a flagship or anybody out there? Again, not you, D6 Swag. This is just because you gave me this idea and I appreciate it, buddy. How is it this is not a flagship and this is? That makes no sense at all. This is a Note series, and a lot of the things that are on here, the S Pen, okay, this has an S Pen, it's water resistant, it has an iris scanner. Anything else? Anything else that makes this stand out? TouchWiz is feature rich, okay? That's four things. This has Dolby front facing speakers, Dolby sound, uh, the fingerprint reader is definitely faster, uh, the build quality to me is better, the screen has a higher pixel count, I mean, it, some things are subjective, but objectively, these both have the same internals. This phone runs better. So just because this phone is $399, does that make it better than this phone? Or just make this phone better because it costs 900 bucks? That makes no sense. Think about the logic behind this. We are end users. We're looking for the best deal. You should be looking for the best deal. You can't tell me for one second that you would rather get your cash out and spend a thousand bucks on this instead of 400 on this when you're getting great performance and some features that this one doesn't have. This one is waterproof. Okay, people protect their phones so much now like it's a baby. People, even though this is waterproof, people aren't dunking their phones in water and walking out in the rain. They're still protecting it. So all phones are going to be protected. Somebody made a point and said, well, you're going to buy a case anyway. I agree. You know, so I rock my phones bare, though, when I'm in the house. I really only put a case on them, I think, when I'm walking around outside or leave the house. And sometimes, depending on what slacks I have or what jeans I'm wearing, I won't use a case because I won't be pulling the phone out very much. Listen, guys, here's what I think about this. I think people get so caught up in price and you're listening to the OEMs and they're telling you this is a flagship and this is not. That's silly. These phones have the same internals, and this one runs better. Come on, man, let's start being honest here. And check it out, this phone, I think it runs better than probably both of these phones. All phones are gonna offer, offer something different, but just by chance, these phones have the same internals. How is it that you can say that this one is not a flagship and this one is? That makes no sense, because if you're basing it just on software, then TouchWiz loses because it's super laggy. Some people say, you know, the lag has been fixed. Let me tell you something, the lag is not fixed. I have all the devices. This phone runs great. I'm not taking anything away from it. I gave it a really high rating in my full review. I'm still working on it, but I think it's gonna get a really high rating. However, 
This phone is not the top of the line, man. Stop lying to yourself if you got this phone and you just want to say it's the best because it's, you know, it's great out there. You got Blue just released the XR. That phone is $299. And check out the specs on that phone. Check out the performance on that phone if you want to. Don't sleep on the Helio P10. It's a great processor. It's MediaTek. I used to, I used to make jokes about MediaTek, but then after I have my phone that's a MediaTek right here, Spank one of my, this has a MediaTek processor and spank one of my doggone phones. It spank one of my phones that has an Exynos processor. This J7 right here. It beat it out real bad in performance. But listen, guys, tell me what you think about why people are labeling phones flagships. Really, it's not something to argue about in the comments. Don't start taking sides. Oh, well, Samsung's better. Tell me why you feel like you can call this phone a flagship and this one you can't call it a flagship just because this one costs less. I read the specs. I'm going to link them in this video. Let's talk about this right now. Mid-range versus high-end. And let me tell you something. This is a mid-range flagship killer. This is. This has an excellent processor, great cameras. It's good. This K10 is a mid-range phone. I think some people have it mixed up. The OnePlus 3 is not a mid-range phone. This is border. This is a flagship. Let's just call it what it is. It's a flagship. Only thing that's knocking this phone down, people will say, is it has a 1080p display. Other than that, listen, it has the same internals as those phones. It just doesn't have a quad HD display. It even has 6 gigs of RAM. Let me tell you something. This phone flies. There it is. Let's talk about it in the comments. It's your man, Jay Will. I love these discussions. What is a flagship? What is a mid-range? Let's go.